Hey everyone, welcome back to WrestlePop. All right guys, Gorgeous George from the WCW has done a little interview recently talking about all the things. So guys, remember her from the late 90s? She was on WCW, she was actually Macho Man's girlfriend and she would show up every week with him and also with Medusa and who we now know as Molly Holly. Back then she was known as Miss Madness. The whole thing was very hokey because it was Macho Man and a bunch of ladies showing up and one of them was his girlfriend but apparently she's done an interview lately and the things that she has to say is interesting. Yeah, so she basically said that the way she met Randy Savage was she was working as a stripper and she had just moved down to Florida on a whim trying to get some work. Surprise, surprise, <laughs> she was a stripper. Mm -hmm. And she said she was having a little bit of a rough time at work and he ended up showing up and kind of sweeping her off of her feet and just kind of wooed her and kind of paid her bills, made her feel great. And then he ended up moving her into his house after she had a little issue with her roommate. Now here's the thing that needs to be added here that I find really interesting, right? Because mm -hmm. it's Macho Man Randy Savage, one of the biggest stars in wrestling. And so she and him are dating for, you know, a couple of weeks, months, or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. But for those like several months that they're dating, they never kissed. Very, very bizarre. Yeah, he never made any moves. <laughs> It's weird. Uh, yeah, well, it makes me wonder if there's something else going on there, you know, like, but regardless. I just think Macho Man probably had no game, man. Maybe not, but you'd think that she would maybe feel obligated since he's taking care of so many things for her. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe not, I guess. But get this, guys. She claims that after he moved her in, he was doing, you know, the taping for the WCW and stuff. And they said, hey, you know what? We need you to, you know, be paired up with another woman and stuff. And she said, hey, I'm not down with that. I don't want you to be with another woman. I don't want you to be around them. So guess who WCW wanted to pair Macho Man with? Tori Wilson. Wow, oh wow. That's right, no wonder Gorgeous George had a problem with it. Uh, yeah, well, so he basically said, well, if you have a problem with it, then you're gonna have to up your game and actually be on TV. And she said she didn't wanna do it. She was not down with it. Oh yeah, I'm sure she didn't wanna do it. <laughs> right, you know, but she said that she mustered up the courage and was able to do it. And so then she was his on-screen girlfriend as well as his girlfriend in real life. And things were going along great until she found out about his temper. She said that he really did not like her to engage with any other people but him. He didn't want her to have any like real opportunities like she was offered to be on the cover of Playboy multiple times and he said no. If she's gonna be on there, I gotta be on there too, which is hilarious since it's Playboy, you know? Like, you don't get to be on there. So just think about that. They probably offered her a lot of money. Macho Man says no. I feel like this is another example of him being a d Well, 100%. And she also claims that someone that he knew had a little like kind of spy shop or whatever where you could buy like surveillance equipment and stuff. And she felt like he had bugged their whole house, her clothing, her purses, everything so that he could monitor her. It's very creepy. Just think, if he was alive now, he'd probably be going through a Me Too movement. Oh, probably like multiple Me Too movements and maybe even like some more criminal type things. But she said that, you know, eventually she just like had to break free of it and she's been doing her own thing lately, which is basically gypsying around the country, as she said it, for the last like 20 years going from here to there, doing multiple things. And for the past several years, she's actually been a truck driver, but now she's actually saved up some money and she's gonna open up a food truck. So we were looking online for photos of her. We can't really find any recent ones. And on top of that, I feel like her story when she was telling it, it was a little shady. 100% it was shady because a lot of things didn't really make sense because we glossed over the whole thing. But she apparently talked for a long, long time about her relationship with Randy. I will give her the benefit of the doubt though because we actually read this interview on the internet and it was on a website, so it wasn't actually like a video interview, right? Mm -hmm. And so it was basically just a summary, which when you read on the internet, a lot of the time, it's there's a lot of errors on it, there's mm -hmm. typos and all this kind of stuff. So I'm sure whoever wrote it up 
might have not been as accurate as it was. Yeah, well, the, the weirder part though is that she had a lot of very descriptive things that happened that just seemed weird. She said that her roommate, you know, told her that she was gonna have her dog eat all of her clothes if she didn't do X, Y, and Z for her. It was very bizarre, but hopefully she's in a better place now and on the path to doing well because she did say she had a lot of issues with the substances. So here's the thing about all this, guys, that was shocking to us. So we were looking for her on social media. Looks like she's on Twitter, but not on Instagram, which I feel really bad for her because it sounds like she really didn't make any money from uh, wrestling and all that, mm -hmm. thanks to Macho Man, right? And um, you would think because of the fact that she was in wrestling, she would have social media like Instagram because you know there's a lot of guys who want to see some photos of her in bikinis and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Only fans. Yeah. I was expecting possibly an only fan. So hopefully, maybe this is where she comes out and tries to, you know, establish herself. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, 5 Minute Eats. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.